thank you very much for creating time. To speak thank to you. Us. Thank you so much. All right. Now, uh, we do know, of course, the East African community uh, was created about now you can simply say 10 years ago and uh, we've seen growth on the same and uh, much happening here most analysts believe that this is one of uh, the regions that experience that is experiencing a lot of growth but now we're talking about something rather more critical having one country with one president how cheap of a boy is this right so first of all the African was the African community was created a long time ago yeah you're talking about the East African community with, with the entry maybe of Rwanda in and it, Burundi. And Burundi. Uh. But it's a dynamic thing. Uh, Ethiopia have, has applied. South Sudan has been uh, accepted. Mm, yes. So the East African community has been there for a long time. And one of its, of its weaknesses is projects like that one. Mm. That project is a typical white elephant. Not because I'm against the concept of having one federal country. All right. But to what end? You know, when you want to, to not achieve something, mm. when you are deliberately interested in not having something done, you start at the end. There are so many things that need to be done. Uh, if, if, in fact, having one, one head of state, of a federal state, is the final stage, but there are stages like having a common currency. Mm. Basically, there's nothing, there's nothing that it will bring to us. There's zero advantages in having one president for the East African community. We need free movement of goods and services. First, before we actually We need to that. a common market. We need people to move unhindered. We have Rwandans being tortured in a neighboring country, and you are talking about having a region. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not serious. All right. So, and, and this is true for, for, for any of these ideological things. What will we achieve? We just want to have a common market. Hmm. We want our products. We want Rwanda Air to pick up clients in Nairobi and take them to London freely. We want non-tariff non non barriers to be removed. We wa that's what we want. We don't care who's the president of... of uh, it makes no sense. In 2018, people don't do things like that anymore. Um, even we need accountability of projects. Why do we have coalitions of the willing? Why do we have which eventually also die out and so on and so forth? Mm. In this day and era, I believe Africans should integrate, but should, inter should integrate effectively, not in mere words and, and treaties. You know, Gatete, you talk about uh, trade and uh, it brings me to uh, the standard gauge railway. Of course, we do know that uh, Rwanda had opted out to go with uh, both the lines, the one from Uganda and the one crossing to Tanzania, to the dry port in uh, uh, Tanzania. But then uh, news from Uganda does indicate that uh, the country uh, slowed, slow paced this or kind of blocked the movement on that particular conversation because they opted out to go with uh, pumping oil first and then going to Tanzania, which means the country cannot even go, th the, 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 the railway cannot happen yet, slowing trade. So tell me, I mean, we do know that- It, is, mm. it is almost disrespectful mm. to the citizens of the East African community to tell them that you've appointed a committee of gentlemen to vet or fast, fast track a common president. Who, ne who, needs, who needs an East African president? D does the East African Legislative Assembly fulfill its mandate? Does, it? does, the, that, does, the, does the Executive Secretary of the East African Community fulfill his mandate? Does he listen to the Yala? Does the East African Court of Justice fulfill its mandate? All those institutions aside, we just want integration. The integration that is going to happen is the integration we are about to bypass politicians, mm. luckily, because they have not delivered for us in our integration. If African integration is going to happen, it's going to happen with technology, with trade. Go to a border, any border, between a country and another. Look at vendors mm. who crisscross across the borders. That's integration. Not the speeches that people make on uh, television or in uh, whatever. Integration is when people are actually wanafanya biashara, like we say in this region. That's mm. what we want. We want kufanya biashara. Do we business. don't want to talk mm. and to have committees and appointments and president. Who needs 
president of the South African Republic, to what and what is he going to do? Is he going to make speeches? Is he going to organize big banquets? Is he, what is he going to do? Getete, there is one thing as needing and there's another thing as it being put in place. Whether it's you not want going it or to happen. Not. Because, no, why I'm saying this is because uh, we did see Julius Muganda, Uganda's ESC minister and chairperson of the ESC, <laughs> Council of Ministers, saying that uh, the draft will be out in uh, 2021. And uh, it's expected to be uh, promulgated in uh, 2023. Yes, 2023. So, I mean, well, let's say it happens. Do you know how many treaties and conventions that we have agreed? You talked, we want electricity, mm. energy. We want transport, access to the sea. Mm. We want a big market. Mm -hmm. We want, so I, w when you invited me to this show, I said I was going to speak a little bit of this. There's uh, Akamatsu is a, is a Japanese economist who came up with a theory called the flying geese paradigm. Mm. He says that no country can develop without a regional effort. All right. He says countries move, countries that develop, he's talking about Southeast Asia, mm. they develop in a geese form formation. Okay. One goes in front, that's Japan, that's the country after the Second World War, that's the country that went very fast. Mm. So it was taking all the wind, wind that means all the, uh, the obstacles to growth, to okay. development, to fast development. But then Japan was able to eventually uh, relocate some of the things, the manufacturing that it was doing mm. into a second formation of geese. Okay. That's South Korea, that's Singapore, that's uh, Malaysia, that's countries that were there. Mm. These countries, then they were also able to, to, to be lifted up. And then after that, they eventually s relocated all this to China. China also lifted up. By China being lifted up, now you have countries like Vietnam that are also catching up. Okay. That's how people think. They and didn't create, uh, they didn't appoint a president of the Southeast Asia. All right. They just did what is right. So there is what so, so is in right. So in your sense, you're saying that that's what East African community should be doing. That's what any sensible person should be doing. I'm sorry. East African community has not succeeded. All right. Uh, or the African, uh, one Af federal African country has not succeeded mm. because of white elephant projects like this. Or oh, we want a, one president, we mm. want. We want to kufanya biashara. That's all the right. is the language of the region. Definitely. We want to do business. That's okay. all we want. We don't need presidents. Oh, that's what we just want that. Definitely there, of course, we want to Kufanya Biashara and not a president. Thank you very much for creating time to speak You're to welcome. us.